Hey everyone, this is part two of building your own Aegis defence line. Um, for the second part, which is the larger barricade, you're going to need same thick cardboard again, some thinner cardboard, knife, ruler, pen, and obviously same colours as before, which was black, bulk of metal, um, goblin green, and also brown ink wash. Actually, for speed, I glued the other one together with a uh, super glue. Uh, this time, I, I managed to get this stuff, which is called rocket card glue. But it's uh, apparently supposed to be a white glue, but it sets like um, super glue. So I'll give it a whirl and see how that goes as I'm going through. Okay, so that's what we need to do it. So first thing is to measure out your components. So the wall section, it's uh, 200 millimeters long, 40 millimeters high, same height as the other one, um, and then the ends are exactly the same as the small section so it's 25 in 40 and then 25 in 40 in the other end of the center section is 15 mil 15 mil and 40 again so again that's 200 long and 40 high the base is 175 long by 40 wide Okay, so we cut it out. The wall section we are left with this. So what I've done with this is, once I've actually cut it out, I then score down here, 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 turn it over, and I score down the back on those two, and that enables me to bend it up. As you see, it gives you the section like that so I'm gonna just put that on the base like so I'll right, so, so. that up okay so there we are stuck on and let's rock it car glue react very well literally held the stuff in place for two minutes and held it there. I'm going to leave it for 10 minutes to dry but it works really well. So next bit is to add the detail on the front. Right. So get your serial box cardboard. Right. There we go. Right. And this is the these two are exactly the same as the ones for the small section. So it's 60 long by 40 and each piece is going to be 30 by 40 when you cut it out. Basically you're looking at a 5 mil frame. But this one is 80 by 40. Uh, it's the same again, but because the inner walls are only 15, they don't need to be as deep. I've just done that, cut them out. And then you've got, there's the inner one inside. And uh, do the side. So, as I say, what? So, just bend this one slightly, like so, and then that will go on there, like that. And do the one on the other end, and this centre section, obviously will sit in there. So what I'll do is I'll glue them in place now and save a bit of time. I'm going to give this the front bit and the back coat of paint and I'll come back when I've done that. Okay. Okay. So there it is. Um, the pieces are glued on now and I give a coat of paint and I painted the front there black. Yeah, green, sorry. That's black. So the next bit now is to do 
the, the floor on the inside here. Um, again, it's 170 long, it's probably 30 wide, but the, the serial, made out of serial box, but what you're going to have to do is, you're going to have to actually measure this and just trim it yourself to fit the, sh the defence line that you do, because they're all slightly different. And anyway, here's one I've already cut, as you see it just sits in there nicely. Again, it goes all the way around and gives you basically it's a 5mm um, border all the way around it and a couple of bracing spars across. So yeah, once you've done that, the pieces that you cut out are then used with the, the mesh that we've got. What I'll show you is I'll cut these out and stick them in to the spaces. And again, give it a coat of paint and come back again in the next video. Okay, I've gave it a coat of black, but well, I've got a bit of head in myself and I've started painting it bulk on metal. So what I'll do is I'll finish off the bulk on metal and then I'll come back to it and show what it looks like. Okay, I have now given all the coat of bulk on metal. And the last thing to do now is just to give it a wash with a brown wash and then we'll see what it looks like on the game table. Okay, that's it done. And there you go. And it's the last surviving remnants of the 123rd Cadian awaiting the final onslaught in the Battle of Armageddon. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this 